Well, we got a lot of challenges ahead of us, um, and none of them being any of our opponents. The big, the biggest challenge from from here on out, and it's really it started um, after UCF is a, and not that we hadn't been practicing hard and and um, and, and playing hard and all that, but the challenge is to um, get this team to understand um, that when we fully commit to each other, and, and that's what we're playing for. That we that we've we've shown that we're a pretty good team, and that's that's the challenge. It's the challenge to get them back up um, after uh, playing a team the caliber of a Memphis, and, and even though we didn't win, the success we had playing against them to not have a letdown and to get back to the practice court. And again, this time of the year, you don't want to go long, um, but you still got to maintain that level of intensity. And, and the biggest thing has been the togetherness we've shown. Uh, since UCF, um, but this time of the year, the most important things is, is fresh legs and fresh minds, and you can't do that with you know long practices. So we're going to be cutting back a little bit, but we still got to maintain that intensity and work on uh, what what we have to do to continue the um, you know the the, t- the type of play we've shown as a team the last three games. Um, but it doesn't get any easier with a, a tough two lane team um, coming in here that. You know, very good post players. Very uh, with Louise, me, and Gomez in the post, and, and Sims being one of the better point guards in this league. It's going to be a hard game. So, um, it'll be a hard game to prepare for and a hard game to play play in. But I mean, we've shown that we're as good as anybody uh, in this league if if we can continue to compete on every possession the way we play to this point. So, do you think this last week, both the win and the loss? Um, well, no, what, what we've maintained it since the UCF game, and we really have worked on it. Um, the camaraderie, the acknowledging and recognizing a teammate, and we've worked on it in practice, you know, it, and it worried me after uh, UCF that we, we weren't doing that. If a teammate made a great play for a great pass to you, we weren't acknowledging each other, that simple point or wink of the eye or a pat on the butt, whatever that was, we weren't doing it. And we really we've drilled it since the UCF game in, in practice, and it's really, you know, you see more of an emotion from the guys uh, on the on the bench cheering for the, the guys on the floor, and you and you see, and it makes it it makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference. Um, uh, so the you know it, it's not just these last two games; it's what we've worked on in practice, and it's it's paid off in the games. It's always a concern, um, you know. But the biggest thing was, I after the game, I told the team how proud I was of them, of how they competed. But I'm disappointed because again, it's another game that that you know we had our opportunities to win, and you don't get many opportunities in life um, to compete against the number one team in the country and have an op- and a chance to win. It just doesn't happen, and that was you know. So I'm disappointed for, for our guys because of how hard we've been working and how hard we've been playing. So um, the biggest thing I say is we can't hang on to it. Let it go and let's move on. And uh, we'll, we'll try to do that today as we get out on the practice floor. Is there any one particular thing to get you over that last little hump that you think the team needs other experience size we come? What do you mean in terms of? Yeah, like uh, you've been close a few times uh, in New Mexico. What's the next step? Yeah, you, you gotta you gotta make those plays late in the game, and uh, they did. They had guys that um, that made those plays. That, I mean, the the shot that Chris Douglas Roberts made, that jump hook from twelve feet. That's a hard shot. Um, he made it. The, the pull up. We and we that was great defense too. By the way, he just made a great shot. Um, the defense that we played on Derrick Rose when he got in that lane and had to. Shoot back across his body over the top of, of Victor and Randy both hounding him. It's a hard shot, and he made it. Um, and and we had our opportunities in those same situations, and we could we could make those shots. Um, we work on those situations in practice every day, but you, you know you can't replicate what happens in the game. You know, but you you try to get as close as you can. Um, we we have a lot of confidence in those situations. You just got to go make them happen. 
in the game. In, in this last game, they made those plays and we did. Talk about uh, Stephon Jackson I mean, the Much deserved and uh, about time. Um, in my eyes, he's the best player in his conference, without question. Um, and he's shown that on a game by game, week by week um, deal. Now, I don't know, again, we get a little bit lost in the shuffle out here in El Paso, where whether it's we show up on that, the list of the player of the week candidates that sent out worse showed up, it's alphabetical order. So we're the last one on that list. And whether by the time they get to us, they've already made up their mind. Whatever the case may be, he's deserved um, player of the week before this. Um, and hadn't got it, but you can't control those things. And at the end of the day, the best thing about it, Stefan could care less. He could care less about the points he scores. It's what he does, what makes him special, and it's what we need from him for this team to succeed. He cares about one thing is winning. So it's it's a great thing. It's a great thing for Stefan that he got recognized this week, and it's a great thing for our, our team and our program. But it doesn't. It's not going to help you win any games. Coach, that Memphis game has to give you a lot of confidence for the rest of the season. Point in the end. Well, I think no. The turning point, hopefully, in this season was UCF. That was the turning point. Um, it allowed me to to grab some issues we had by the by the horns, and and demand some certain things. And it, that's helped us turn the corner more than anything. Any the Memphis game. Uh, again, you know me. I don't like to. I don't like moral victories. I don't. You know. You can always learn some things in any game you play, win or loss. Um, but we had more positive come out of that UCF game than any game we played all year, and it's really propelled us to how we've played since then. Um, and, it, and it's the focus, the single-mindedness, the narrow-mindedness of how we've prepared in practice, uh, the attention to detail that was slipping in spots allowed me to grab that back and it's really, you know, spurted us in these last three games. And now it's my job, and it's what I told our, our team. Our challenge now is how we've prepared in the last three games. You've seen the success that we've had individually as players and as we, that we've had as a team. How we've done that, why would you change anything? Why, as a player, would you allow yourself or your teammates? I told them, you need to do, you guys should do one thing. Hold me accountable, the players, to, to come every day, which I do anyway. But then it's now understand it's my job because of what we've done these last three ga these games and what we've done in practice to play this way. It's my job to hold you accountable to the standards you guys have set in practice. That's why we played that way. Um, and I think they all understand it. Um, they're all committed to it. And we, you know, Again, we've got an unselfish team. We've got a very talented team, and we've got a bunch of guys that want to do one thing, and that's, that's win. Individual stats and all that doesn't matter. And it starts with Stefan. When your best player uh, is now starting to be your hardest worker in practice, and he's always been unselfish, um, then that makes, that makes for a uh, good combination. It's really interesting to see the freshmen grow. Are they maturing on, on, above the curve, about where you thought they were? Yeah, they're they're freshmen. They're freshmen. They're growing and they're learning. And every day, every practice, every game is a learning experience. And you don't get experience until you get experience. And that's that's what we're getting right now from this group. Um, but like freshmen, it's it's a roller coaster. I mean, you know, uh, one day they're you know it's really they're really good. One day you can't find them. But that's fine. That's what you expect to get from freshmen. What you ex well, then what I expect in our our veteran players. That's where you get your consistency from. Uh, but our freshmen have been very, very good. And we knew coming into the season that they were going to have to play a big part, not carry what we're doing, but just play a big part in our success.